Bob. How's it going everybody? This is Chris from the Samaria Software Team, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to update your Recon Lab. Now, before we even think about updating our Recon Lab, there's a couple of dependencies that we need to make sure are either fully installed or up to date to the latest version. So those are going to be Xcode, Python, and Fuse for macOS. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to update the dependencies, and then we're going to move into how to update your Recon Lab. First on the list is going to be Xcode. Xcode is actually a development language that Apple uses for all of its apps that are coded for both macOS and iOS, uh, and these can actually be downloaded through the App Store. So if you haven't already installed it, go ahead. Uh, you will have to make some sort of Apple ID in order to download it. Uh, just go ahead and search Xcode on the App Store, and you can download Xcode right here. Uh, I would say to go ahead and knock this out first, because Xcode does take quite a long time to both download and install, because it's a pretty big language. So getting this out of the way first is probably going to be your best bet. If you already have Xcode installed, then you can either do exactly what I did here, where you just look up Xcode and see that there's an update available, or you can see it through the updates menu. After you have it either downloaded or installed, you will have to run a quick terminal command to make sure that you are running uh, the latest version of both the command line tools and the actual application. And this can be done pretty easily by typing in xcode-select-install. dash dash, dash install. And if you go ahead and run it, uh, if you get this error message, then that means Xcode command line tools are already installed and you are good to go. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next version, which should be Python. So this one's actually super easy. You can just head over to the Python website and go to Downloads, go to Mac OS, and you should be taken to this page right here. All you need to do from this point is download the latest version of Python from here, and it should download in a PKG file. And if you're not familiar with it, it's pretty similar to something like an EXE. You just double click on it, and it will basically prompt you all of the stuff that you need to do. You just kind of follow the click prompts, and then you should be good to go. Once you have that installed and up to date to the latest version, we have a quick terminal command that we need to run to make sure that some additional libraries that lab requires are already installed. This can be done by running python3 m pip install lz4 and enum34. Uh, like I said, these are just libraries that lab requires in order to, to run properly. So we need to run this command to make sure that they have already been installed and up to date to the latest version. And if they are, then you should get this message telling you that both of the requirements are already satisfied. Next, we want to move on to Fuse for macOS. Fuse for macOS can actually be installed pretty easily. Go ahead and just open up a search browser and do a quick search for Fuse for macOS, and you'll see the GitHub for MacFuse right here. Once you select that, it'll take you to this page. Uh, this is the home page for Fuse for macOS. You can go ahead and download the most stable release for Apple Silicon and Intel just by selecting this, and it should download in, again, a PKG format. Just go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts and you should be done in relative ease. If you already have MacFuse downloaded, go ahead and open up your system preferences and you should see MacFuse down here at the very bottom. Selecting this will reveal the MacFuse system preferences and you should see this button right here for check for updates. Uh, selecting this will basically just do a quick query of your machine to make sure that you're up to date to the latest version. Uh, if you're not, then you would have to install the latest version and you will most likely have to do a restart after it has been installed. So make sure that you prepare for that ahead of time. Once we have all of our prerequisites installed and up to date to the latest version, we can go ahead and head over to the Samaria website and head over to the software tab or software updates tab right here at the very top. This will take us to the software updates page where we host all of our software downloads. And you can go ahead and select the download now button right here and it'll take you over to an Amazon work docs page where you can just select this button to download a copy. It'll download in a zip format. So all you have to do is open up a file browser and you'll see right here, uh, I've already extracted it from my zip, but all you need to do is simply double click it and it'll expand to a DMG. We're going to double click on our DMG and inside is this handy Recon Lab installer application. So we're just going to double click on this to go ahead and launch it. You will most likely get a message like this one that tells you that the app's downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And in our case, we definitely do. So we're going to hit open. And we see right here that the lab installer does prompt us for a admin password. So this is going to be the password that you use to log into your administrator account, not one that we set, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're going to go ahead and select OK. Now lab is going to do a quick check for 
packages. Uh, this is basically just a couple of extra dependencies that Recon Lab in requires in order to run properly. So when we get to this message, all we're going to do is simply select install to install the missing dependencies. This is going to run for uh, basically between a couple seconds to a minute. So just go ahead and let the packages continue to install and we're going to pick it up once it is done. Once the package installation has finished, you will be greeted with a small window prompting you to continue, and then you'll be greeted with the Recon Lab installer window. So from here, we actually have three options. We have the regular install, which is for users who want to update from a previous version and would like to maintain any of their, uh, their current license status and any of their agency details. We have the clean install option, which is for users who want to remove anything that they have uh, as far as configuration and license files go, and also remove any previous versions of Recon Lab that have been installed. This is also the one that we recommend for those of you who are installing for the first time. And then the uninstall button obviously does what the uninstall button says. So for this version, we are going to go ahead and select the install button. And then we are also greeted with this message that says, if we want to replace our license file, just go ahead and hit the checkbox. I actually like my license file so because it's good for a little bit more longer. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And then it's basically just going to uninstall the newest version over top of what I already have. So if we just give it a couple seconds here, we should be greeted with a done message down here in the bottom left once it is finished, and we are good to go. So if we were to go ahead and launch a version of Recon Lab, we should be greeted with the newest version that's listed here at the top of the installer, just to double check that we're all good to go, and we are. So it says we are up to date to the latest version of Recon Lab 157A8, which is the newest version at the time of these, this video's recording. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have ideas for any other types of videos that you'd like to see from us in the future, definitely feel free to leave a comment and let us know. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.